Liz was starting to talk about, I think, uh, delved into the idea of positioning your title. Once the book has been accepted for publication and then it will be circulated through the press and different departments will be looking at it, and particularly marketing, and start looking at Sorry, I'm just going reading, to get, get looking at the manuscript. Um, and, you know, it's that point where it becomes a, a house discussion about whether the book is, will probably remain as a scholarly monograph, be picked, sold to research libraries, etc. cetera, um, whether it has, um, you know, interest as possible, supplementary reading, you know, in other words, will we do it just, will we do it in hardcover and paperback, <coughs> um, and whether, or it could possibly have full text potential, like a proper textbook potential, and then it will be handled a different way as well. And there's also a side of, of, of what we do, which is involved in what we call trade publishing, which is um, we take the, we look at this manuscript and we say it's a topic which is topical, and the and the person their author writes very well, so that when we get that wonderful combination, then that book will be handled somewhat differently. It will be given all the support that a scholarly monograph would get, but it will have a different treatment as it's going through the house, including everything from um, it, it may you know it's not un, it's not unheard of that a, um, a, a structural or trade editor might be hired to help shape the book. If, if the, that potential is there. And we've done that a few times. And certainly it will be designed in a certain way, it will look in a certain way. And when it, it, it's published, it will, you know, depending on the potential, you know, we do everything from hire a publicist to, um, you know, we, we position it because we think there will be media interest, we think there will be general trade reviews, we think media will want to talk to the author about this subject. And, and most scholarly presses in Canada are in a position to do that for you. We all have to sell to non-academics. We can't survive unless we can find, you know, um, uh, sophisticated or, um, you know, general readers who, who are interested in certain topics. Um, I'm thinking of, because we were talking so much about the dissertation turned into a book, of a book that we published a couple of years ago called um, Mothers, of, M Mothers of Heroes, Mothers of Martyrs which was a book written by, um, it was a PhD dissertation about women whose children had been killed in war. And she specifically uh, wrote about uh, women in World War I. But she, of course, covered a, quite a broad history of it, including, you know, contemporary suicide bombers and, you know, their mothers. So, I, you know, when we saw this, we thought, this is, you know, this is very timely. There's a lot of elements to this, you know, because these women were used as for propaganda, et cetera, et cetera. And um, uh, as it turns out, it, she wrote very, very well. She, the author was, um, she doesn't teach, um, and as a, she also, I think, ultimately wants to be a writer as opposed to an academic. And, but she's married to a very well-known Canadian novelist, and I'm always wonder about their pillow talk <laughs> <laughs> about stylistic considerations because she really wrote a great, great, great read. But also, you know, it had all the, the necessary uh, original research and scholarship. And I, I want to emphasize that to you: we're not interested in degrading the content; we're interested in trying to get it out as widely as possible. And it's our role to really get, you know, get people talking about the stuff that w that you guys are researching you know if if it's there we, we have to do that so anyway she that book came out and you know we we had she was she had a publicist and then somebody came along and said oh I'm interested in doing a documentary on the subject and then she became a consultant on that and uh, it's different things have happened you know because of it and I think it's been good for her career and that's also very important for us is to support you in your career ambitions whether it's getting tenure or you know, if you've got bigger ambitions to be a public intellectual, which I always want to meet some more of them who want to get out and talk about what they're doing, um, that's partly what we're doing in marketing and in support of the editorial process. So the other day I was, I was presented with a manuscript, just to give you the kind of things that go on, that is written by a senior scholar, a senior historian, and it's about uh, Sir Frederick Borden. And I was confused for a moment. I thought it was... I was thinking of Sir Robert Borden, who was the, was the eighth Prime Minister of Canada. 
Sir Frederick was his cousin, first cousin, as it turns out, and very and a, a minister in the uh, Sir Wilfrid Laurier government. He was a liberal, and Borden, Robert Borden, was a Tory. But they were their their paths crossed many times. Okay, so here we have this book. It's written very well. It's a biography. Mm -hmm. Biographies are quite popular in Canada, and it's it's got a real magisterial, elegant style. It's interesting, but nobody knows really knows who he is. Although you know, you're drilling down now. What are we going to do with this book? And I will have a discussion with the editor, and the, you know, our executive director will decide mm -hmm. how we will price it, whether we will bring it down to do it as a hardcover, as a trade designed hardcover, and try and work and push it out as far as we can. That will all happen within the next, um, you know, in the next year it'll probably show up on, you know, in our catalog and, and hopefully we'll, we'll do reasonably well with it. But it just, it's, it's a very interesting process and, and if you want to be engaged in that process, you, you know, as, as Liz is saying, get out there and do it and participate because there's opportunities for you to be involved and to work with the, the um, particularly with the marketing department, with your publicist. We want, we want to sell your book, that's our intention, and, um, and we want to work successfully with you. So if, you're ha if, if you feel comfortable about doing that, then feel free to you know, have, a, have a conversation with your publicist and with the sales manager and, and, and let's all work together on it. Thank you.